power windows on the car have been acting up, so I've decided to start pulling things apart and see what's wrong with it. The original problem was the right rear passenger window would not function. Neither the door switch nor the driver's master switch would cause it to move. My dad and I took the door apart and found one of the cables loose. We plugged it back into the switch and that's when things got really weird. Replacing the loose connector solved the problem from the driver's master switch. The window moves up and the window moves down as normal. However, the rear window on the other side of the car, which was perfectly functional until we replaced the connector, now does not work at all. Master switch, up and down, no movement. Additionally, turning on the rear windows at their door controls results in some very strange behavior. When the child lock is turned off to allow the rear window switches to operate, the window we plugged in slowly creeps upward on its own with no other switches being pressed. When the child lock is turned on, the now disabled, previously working rear window is operable by its window switch, but moves unusually slowly and doesn't seem to work very well. The master switch for that window still has no effect. One of the most worrying symptoms yet is all of the warning lights on the dash dim whenever I turn on the child lock switch. Suggesting some sort of short circuit or excessive current drain. After some prying with a screwdriver, I removed the switch module and unplugged three connectors. A large white, a small white, and a gray. Here's a look at the switch contacts themselves, along with the LEDs that light up the buttons. There doesn't seem to be anything explicitly wrong with this. All the switches mechanically function. Just using a screwdriver to operate the sliders, much like the buttons would. All of those work. Down here is the child lock switch that's been causing most of the issues. That seems to turn on and off okay. So, can't really see the problem there. After scraping the contacts and then using tweezers to bend them so they seat better, I was able to revive the window that had mysteriously stopped working when we reconnected the other rear window. Though it occasionally is a bit reluctant in going up. The rear window on the other side remains functional. However, the child lock switch still causes it to strangely slowly rise by itself with no switches being pressed. The driver's side window features an automatic roll down. When the button is pushed briefly one click beyond normal down, like so, an extra switch contact sends a signal to the circuit board on back. It has an IC, a few caps, a pair of relays, and what looks like a current sense resistor. The IC turns on one of the relays, allowing the driver window to roll down while the driver concentrates on driving. Once the window has gone all the way down, the motor stalls, and the current sense resistor detects the extra current caused by the stalled motor, allowing the IC to know when to turn off the relay. The passenger side window also uses one of these relays to go up and down, which explains why both the front passenger and the driver window switch have much less contact damage than either the rear switches or the child lock switch. Since I could not see or measure any faults in the master switch unit while it was unplugged from the rest of the car, I suspect that the fault may lie somewhere else in the wiring or in the motor itself. So I've taken off the panel of the problem door. Here's the problem motor. Here's the door switch for that motor. And here's the connector to the motor. I've hooked up my voltmeter. We'll turn on the various switches and watch what voltage appears at this connection. Operating that door switch from the master control when the rear windows are disabled at their door switches, that should function normally. There would be up, and there would be down. 
With the rear windows disabled up at the master switch, the door switch here should not have any effect. Pull up. A few millivolts up here. Down. A few millivolts in the other direction up here. That's normal. I will now turn on the rear windows at the master switch and observe what happens. There's some voltage there that should not be there. Master switch off. Master switch on. That's not normal. I've now unplugged the door switch for this window. See if that makes any difference. Child switch is on. Child switch is off. No strange voltage appears after I've unplugged that door switch. I'm going to try to roll down the window normally. No voltage appears either. The inside of this door switch is in much rougher shape than the master switch. Some of the contacts are black with soot or other debris, and this LED was bent way off its support and might have been causing a short circuit. Verdict is, this switch is fucked. Tried to put it back together. When I applied power, both the series diodes with the LED burned up, and it still has the fault where it applies a low voltage to the window motor when the child switch is turned on. When I swapped it out with the identical switch from the other rear passenger door, the window now operates fine. Child switch on, window does not creep up. Master switch operates it normally. Using the switch I took from the other rear passenger door, the bad window now works.